one, six out of ten people randomly selected had attended a leadership camp. If five people are selected randomly from that group of people and X represent the number of people who had participated in the leadership camp, draw a graph to represent the probability distribution of X. So here we know that X is the um, not represent the number who had participated in leadership. So five people are being selected. So the number of people uh, which had attempt they might be zero, one, two, three, four, five because five options. So maybe all of them haven't attended uh, and one, two, three, four, or five. So this is the value of at the probability of the number of people who had participated in leadership camp. So this is the set. So here we see here 6 out of 10 people randomly selected had attended. So we know that the probability of attended is equal to 6 over 10 is equal to 0 0.6. If this one we give A, then probability of not attended which is A prime or complement of A is equal to 1 minus 0 0.6 which is 0 0.4. So this one is a 10, this one is not a 10. So for this one, we see here we only have two, uh, two options which is a 10 or not a 10 then it is binomial distribution. So we can use the formula. So up here B, X is equal to R is equal to NCR and then we have PR, QN minus R. So this is a formula that we are going to use. A graph so probability when x is equal to 0 so we just key in so n the number uh, of being selected is 5 c and then r is 0 here so p is because we are uh, talking about being selected right so being being partic this one is participated though. so p is the number of being participated which is a this one is 0 0.6 then this one is 0. You see here this one is the same with this one. And then we have probability Q. Q is equal to 1 minus P. So this one is 0 0.4. And then this one is actually everything which is 5 minus this one. Or we see here N, the number minus R. So here we get 5C0, 0, 0 0.60, 0 0.4, 5. So here we get zero point zero one zero two, and then p x is equal to one, which is equal to five c one. You see, five c one. This one is one, and then zero point six. This one is one. This one is also one, and then we have zero point four. So this one is actually everything. This one minus this one, which is equal to four. So here we are going to get 0 0.0768. So here PX is equal to 2 which is equal to 5C2 and then 0 0.6. So this one is 2, this one is also 2. Now we have 0 0.4. So we see here this 1 plus this 1 must be equal to 1. So the power here is actually 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3. This one is everything minus number of success. So this one we are going to get 0 0.2304. So Px is equal to 3, is equal to 5C3. You see this one is number 0 0.63, 0 0.4. This one is... 5 minus 3 or 2 which is equal to 0 0.3456 and then P X is equal to 4 which is equal to 5C4 0 0.6 power of 4 then, then this one is 0 0.4 5 minus 4 is 1 which is equal to 0 0.2592 and then P X is equal to 5 which is equal to 5C5 so 0 0.65 and then this 0 0.4, 5 minus 5 is 0. So here you are going to get 0 0.0778. So.
so here I'm going to draw a graph here so I just take it here and put it on the right x is equal to 0 is equal to 0 0.0102 and px is equal to 1 is equal to 0 0.0768 So here you can see the value of x as this is this number which is this one is represented by r x is equal to r. So we can see the value is 0 up to 5. And for the y as this we see here this one is the probability. So to make it into the graph we should know what is the highest and the minimum point. So we see here the minimum point is here which is 0 0.01. Okay 0 0.01 up to and we can see that the highest number is 0 0.3456 0 0.3456 so what scale are we going to use so here we just put x first because obviously this one is 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 right and then for y so make sure you can fit in your graph so this one i'm going to make it into 0 0.0 not 0 0.01 but only 0 0.1 because we see here we have 0 0.3 here so I can only make it into 0 0.3 and here is 0 0.4. So we can see here for 10 small box, so 10 small box, it is equal to 0 0.1, which means one small box is equal to 0 0.01. So you see here, so it will be easier for you to plot the graph later on. So what you should do is that you just have to divide the value per one box so that you know how many box for you to mark. Okay, so x is equal to 0 is 0 0.01. So we know that one box. So we see here we have 0 0.0102. But then you cannot plot that much significant, uh, that much uh, decimal point, right? So you just only take 2, which is 0 0.01. So 0 0.01, so you see 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.01, which is equal to 1. That means you just have to plot at one box. So this one is one small box down here. So I'm changing the color to here, the pink one, right? So now it's 0 0.076. So I just use 0 0.08, okay? So 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.01, you get 8. So this one, 1. So you just plot up until 8. So this one is 2 below this one, 2 below 0 0.1. So you see here, you don't have to calculate singly. You just divide with uh, one small box just so you know how many boxes to plot. So this is the easier way for you to plot. So this one done. And then x is equal to 2, 0 0.23. So 0 0.23 divided by 0 0.01, you get 23, right? So 23 boxes. So from down here, this is 10 box. 10 box because you know the large box represented by 10. 10 box, 20 box, and then 3 above it. Alright. Okay, and then 0 0.3456. So, 0 0.35. So, here 0 0.35 divided by 0 0.01. You get 35 box. So, 10, 20, 30. 35 is in between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. So, this one in midpoint. Okay, and then 0 0.2592. So you make it 0 0.26. So 0 0.26 divided. So is there any place for me to write? <laughs> 0 point divided by 0 0.26. Okay, okay, okay. 0 0.26 divided by 0 0.01. You get 26. So that means 26 box. So 10, 20, and then you see here 4 below this line is here. 26 okay and then i guess this one is the last one 0 0.08 so we have done it at 1 0 0.08 is basically 8 box so this one is 8 box so 2 below 10 so now we can plot so this is basically the 0 1 too small just one and then here, just make a straight line and make sure it is smooth, not like mine. So this one is quite hard to make it straight line. So you just connect it from the x-axis. So now you get the graph to represent the probability distribution of x. 
Okay, so this one is represented by R and this 